Hello, my name is Don Wagner. I've been using Sketchlist 3D since its first release, and I've come to rely on it as a standard tool in designing most of the work that I do. A couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to download the Pro version of Sketchlist 3D, and I've used it to design a custom built-in storage cabinet and also for a home-built air cleaner for my shop. I've got to tell you, I was completely blown away with what they've done with the software in this Pro version. It is very intuitive and much more professional in its presentation. In the original version of Sketchlist, I almost always worked from the grid and just went to the drawings to verify the placement um, and joinery that I had input. With the Pro version and its default four simultaneous views of what you're building, I found it very intuitive to work directly from the drawings about the only time I go to the spreadsheets is when I'm mass changing uh, dimensions on various components. Another feature in the Pro version that I personally find very beneficial is the ability to add notes as you're designing. I found my learning curve for using the Pro version to be even less than it was learning the original product. I then moved on to the reporting functions and all of the standard reports that made Sketchlist 3D so valuable are still there in addition to some more and virtually all of the reports are customizable so you can make different variations of your parts list um, or your shopping list and save these different formats for different uses. And then I saw the PDF button and pressed it and was amazed. I didn't even know that Acrobat supported the display of 3D models. And the model produced by Sketchlist Pro provided everything I would ever want to be able to send to a client for them to be able to view a proposed project that I've designed for them. If you haven't had a chance to try the Pro version yet, I strongly recommend you take the time to download it and spend a little time with it. I think you'll be as impressed as I was.